Yo, what's up? This is T Smooth, and you now watching Team Rich TV. I'm finna count it out. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm here, so let's do it. Look, I'm finna count it out. I took another route. Took another Why you ain't happy? Who's T Smooth? She's just a rapper from Beaumont, Texas, man. Striving and pushing. Trying to make it out, this motherfucker. Fuck a nigga off. Hey, hey, hey. Keep playing me, watch a nigga fuck a nigga off. My label is Score Biz. Um, that's pretty much been my imprint since I started. Um, I think we launched Score Biz in 2014, I want to say. 2014, 13, or something like that. And um, yeah, that's been a that's been an imprint. Um, since then, we just been growing it every year. You know, dropping music, dropping merch, just trying to, you know, build it into a brand that, that, that can stand the test of time. It started off as a click. It started off as, um, they probably, they, people who, who from the city know it started off as squad up. We were squad up at first. And if you from Beaumont and you around my age, you know what I'm saying? If you from Beaumont, you know squad up. You know what I'm saying? And, um, once we decided to do the music and, you know, go professional with it, we kind of changed it to score biz and ran off with it, you know, ran off with it like that. A lot of people wasn't around no more. It, it became more business, you know what I'm saying? We was, we knew squad up shit, we was down there 60 deep, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, we turned it into score biz and kind of ran off with it like that. A nigga play round and get knocked off. A nigga play round in his white chalk. If we get the creep in his lights off, all these niggas put in work now. Got a couple bands with your word now. With your word now. With your word now. Got a couple bands with your word now. With your word now. With your word now. Nigga play round and get knocked off. Nigga play round in his white chalk. If we get the creep in his lights off, all these niggas put in work now. Got a couple bands with your word now. Hey nigga, you know what it is, nigga. Got a couple bands with your word now. I got it for you, pull up and get it, but I can't get you a bargain. No. Niggas ain't loyal, you really they flush, you can get a red dial like target. Ooh. Whatever I touch, nigga, I'm sparking. They try to hit me with arson. Ooh. Brother keep calling, times getting harder. Say it can't go back to robbing. Fuck. Stacking and stashing, flipping and head. I'm the main artist uh, right now. And uh, we had Cam Jizzle and then we had Bud. Uh, shit, they, you know, they, they, they working, but the. The, the game is kind of, uh, man, it, it's, it's, it's confusing sometimes, I'ma just say that, like, you know what I'm saying? So, we all just got our head down trying to figure out the best way how to maneuver through this shit, you know? The first time I recorded in a professional studio was, uh, I was going to Prairie View, uh, and they had a, uh, a cypher for the school and I auditioned for the cypher. And um, they made it to what? The people got to vote. All the, all, the, all the students got to vote. We're going to put the videos out on the internet and y'all got to vote. So, um, shit, I was hitting it hard. Me and my niggas, we was hitting it hard, like going to the um, lab, voting, voting, voting. We voting three, four times under different accounts and shit. And I wound up winning. You know what I'm saying? I want well, I didn't win individually. It was like five or six of us, but they wound up picking me. And when we went recorded the cipher, we went to uh, I think Bear Studios in Houston. That was my first time recording, um, recording professionally, and that was like 2000, 
13. Hey. <laughs> it's too smooth. Feel like flexing on you niggas. I, I, I got old dough. Gave a dollar to the poor folks. Ain't no more broke. Might go get a Chevy. Low, low, low. And I'm saying, you just wife the bitch. I just pipe the bitch. I love taking shit. I just fucked around and swipe the bitch. We don't box, but she need a ring. She trying to fight the dick. Doing overtime for the grind. Working nice and shit. I'm so fly. Got a mean swag, but I'm nice with it. Got off my ass. Got my own shit. I got the rights to this. I was going off my head, but I just had the right to this. Make your bitch come off that head. Eat it like it's some rice and shit. I've been like freestyling. Like I was always like a notable person when it came to rap. Like. But back then, nobody was taking it serious. We was just rapping at the, rapping at the at the parties, and you know, trying to do it in front of you know, rapping in front of the girls, trying to just be, trying to say the most awesome shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, but I was always like notable with that. But I never recorded nothing until I got the PV. I was rapping with my partner Q, Crocodile Q, and he put me on like he put me on one of his first mixtapes. And that was like the first, I think he put me on like two songs and I wrote something. I wrote it down in the tablet. It was my first time recording shit. I, I, I really didn't even know what I was doing. So I, I wrote it down in the tablet and, um, you know, I, I spit that shit out and I heard it. I was like, shit, I can do this shit. And I, um, I got the name T Smooth. I got it from my uncle. My uncle was doing the bid. He had went away. I, I think he had caught like a, I forgot how many years he got, but I just used to write him back and forth, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I always had looked up to him growing up, just, you know, how to dress, how to carry yourself, you know what I'm saying? Just how to, um, just present yourself. And I used to write him like, man, when you come home, man, I'm gonna have T Smooth, like the whole city gonna know T Smooth, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just have his name alive, you feel me? Um, so I kind of ran off with it. I spelled it a different, spelled it my own way and kind of ran off with it. And um, now when, when I first did it, I was in a whole nother city. I was in preview, so I didn't even, I, w I really wasn't even in tune to the music scene. I was just starting to do music. So I wasn't even in tune to the music scene and, and bow much yet. But once I, once I started rapping and put my music out, then I, I seen it was another T Smooth and Bowman. But, um, Shit, we was cool, you know what I'm saying? We met and shit. Um, shit, it was, it's all love, you know, it's Bowman shit. You ain't nobody, ain't no, ain't no ill will towards nobody. Shit, we, we cool. I need my back in the show. I ain't going nothing sad about that hoe. I'm watching my back in the store. <laughs> T Smooth. I need a back for show. I ain't going outside by the hoe. I'm not. I'm watching my back at the store. They might come and even the scope. They know I'm a fool with it. They know I'm these hoes. They say they don't know what to do with me. I watch how I move, cause that should be risky. On point when I'm handling them business. It's always gonna feel good to be recognized for something that you you doing. So it, it feel good, but it's just it's so we still got so 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 much more to go. You know what I'm saying? But um back when like when it first burst on the scene and Trill was you know, you know, he was he was first shooting our videos and shit, it was like it was crazy, bro. I can't even explain it like because we was really like the city was really turnt, you know what I'm saying? And it's turnt now. It's turnt now, but it, like back then everything was new because Shit, Beaumont, we don't really got no big homie that like in a rap game that made it from Beaumont who come back, show us how to do this shit. Everybody was kind of like freestyling with the way they was coming at it. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing we all had in common was Trio. You know what I'm saying? That was the only thing we had in common. We all was um, coming with the quality videos and this shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have the quality, bro. That's one thing I always. Squad Biz always held itself to a high standard when it came to quality. The, the clothing line, it started like, when I first came out, I had me and my nigga LC that he was about to see my manager. We came with the sweatshirts. That was the first pieces we ever made, like the sweatshirts and with the logo. And they was like in different colors and 
that was back when I had dropped, I was bubbling. I had dropped off with Ebody, I had dropped, um, what, what's the other track I dropped? I, I forgot the other one, I, I, I think it was 100 pints. Or, it was something, but I was bubbling in the city. And that made it with a close, it was easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, we dropped the Swiss shirts and that shit had took off. And then my nigga DJ, he was always really, you know what I'm saying, behind the merch anyway. So he had got his equipment, he was making our clothes, you know what I'm saying? And shit, and we just kept putting it in our face. Stay consistent, like, with the merch, like, and shit. I'm really forever grateful for the, for the shit because that's what kept my name alive. When, you know what I'm saying? When I fell back and I wasn't putting out music, the clothes and the merch is what kept the Square Biz name alive. So, shit, I'm, I'm grateful for that shit, man. And, um, DJ kind of um, took over the, the creative um, side of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm still involved in it as far as like, you know, my suggestions, what colors we need to come with, how it need to fit, shit like that. But he really like, uh, he really quarterbacking that shit, so, um, shit, we just gotta, you know, we working as a team, bro. Um, shit, like I said, we, we started from some sweatshirts, bro. Like, getting that shit screen printed to not, like, being, like, the most notable clothing line in the city. Like, the next project I got, I got coming out is uh, Mama's Only Boy. T. Smooth, Mama's Only Boy, M.O.B. I been was supposed to draft it. So it's gonna come out on Mother's Day. And, you know, we just trying to, you know, take 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 this shit to the top, bro. That's, I really don't have nothing to say as, as far as like my progression, cause I already spoke on, you know, just being consistent and, you know, just putting your head down and beating the pavement. Cause I just, you know, we were just trying to work and, you know, see the, uh, see the other side of this shit. Yo, what's up? This is T Smooth and you've been watching Team Rich TV.